friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another art journaling haul for you guys. This is my second one. I asked you in my recent card making haul if you guys were interested in seeing what else I had purchased since my last art journaling video. And you guys all said yes. So I'm going to share the newer things that I've got with you guys. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this journey and I'm so excited to do my next spread. I'm hoping to do that real soon. Um, it probably will be the first week of February, so um, stay tuned for that if you enjoyed my first one. So I'm going to set everything off to the side and we'll go through everything one by one, okay? All right, let's see here. Um, so let's go through the stuff from Amazon first. And um, one of the first things I picked up was this pack of postage stamps. These are from Knaid. It says um, postage stamp plant ephemera. Um, so this is all one pack, just like the last time I shared a pack of uh, the little um, washi tape stickers. They all came kind of individually wrapped, and this was the same here. Uh, so there's like all different kinds, and you know, they're not real postage stamps. They're just made for, um, you know, scrapbooking, junk journaling, art journaling, all of that stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go through all of these one by one because there's a lot in there. <laughs> but we'll just kind of flip through quickly. I don't know if you guys enjoyed that last time when I showed you guys everything that was included. Um, but I didn't hear anybody say to speed through it. So um, I thought maybe you would enjoy kind of seeing what you get in these packets. You know, it's amazing after years and years of, you know, buying card making supplies where you're paying for stamps and dies, this stuff is so cheap. So um, it's really easy to kind of just put it in your cart and click, you know, check out, <laughs> um, you know, when things are just so inexpensive and there's just so many of them. So these ones were all buildings. The next pack, uh, let's see, and I, I haven't even looked at these. Um, I haven't opened the packages yet because I wanted to kind of share my first impressions with you guys. So let's see, this one is, I don't know, they're colorful. That one has ladies, some plants or floor, uh, like a bouquet. These ones are interesting. Lily pads. It's like little vistas. It almost looks like works of art, maybe. Paintings. Very cool. So there's just kind of an idea of what all is included in that. Very interesting. I think these are, these must be like works of art. Very nice. Okay, so that was number two. Um, by the way, as I mentioned in my last art journaling haul, I did become an Amazon affiliate. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these items, and absolutely no pressure at all, you can absolutely use what you have. But if you see something here that you really like, I would love for you to use my links down in the description bar below to check out because that does help support my channel and enable me to, you know, purchase more products to share with you guys and um, I can do some reviews and things like that. So yeah, just kind of gives me a very small commission at no extra cost to you. So it's a great way to support me or any other um, YouTuber that you enjoy by using their affiliate links. So there were some florals. Let's see, this one looks cool. It looks like maybe butterflies. Yeah, 
this one's going to be butterflies. And I do believe these are like a peel and stick washi tape sticker. Or not washi tape, but a sticker. Yeah, they are. So you can just like peel the backing off and then stick it down on your project. They are not washi tape, so they will be, um, you know, more apparent on your pages because they're not transparent. But you can always knock them back with a little bit of gesso if the colors are too bright. But look at that cool with the mushrooms. These are really cool. I can't remember what I paid for these, but it was not a lot at all. And there are so many. I mean, all of this was one kit. I just think that's really, really fun. So butterflies and mushrooms looks like that one was. This one I'm really excited about because it looks like animals. Let's see, right off the bat we've got a really cool deer or a... He's something. I don't know, he's got antlers, so... Forest, I love that. Some birds. A giraffe. More birds. That's gorgeous really cool. I just think these are so fun. I love the different text at the top. These are going to be super, super fun to use. Aw, oh, little chipmunk. An owl. This is definitely my favorite pack so far, but I think they're all just really neat. Flamingo. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool. I think it's a bird, like stylized birds. That's really cool. I love that bear. Very nice. More birds. Yay! Oh, there's a red squirrel. Oh, I don't want to give anything away, but I'm really excited about this one. I think I can use that one real soon. Palm trees and more birds. All right, very nice. And then just one more of these. Can you believe it? Like all of these for like one low price. That's awesome. Look at that one. Isn't that stunning? So vibrant. It's like the world, the moon. So these ones are like space themed, it looks like. Very interesting. Oh, I like that. Very neat. Balances. Saturn. Very neat. I really love these. Oops. Very cool. All right, I'm going to put these back in their packages before they get lost and then we'll move on to the next thing. So the next thing is also a pack of paper. Um, this one is called Paperful Creative 150 pack. Uh, so this one has all of these different vintage papers, which I thought was just really interesting. Um, like I said in my last art journaling haul, you can also just, um, if you have access to old books, you could tear pages out of those, or um, there are lots of like papers that you can purchase on the internet and print on your own printer. I actually don't have a working printer at the moment, um, but I thought it was kind of fun. Oh, look, that one's a transparency. That's cool. So... Very neat. Look at that. Pens. I love that. Um, I don't have access to stuff like that. My Goodwills and stuff, they don't really have a lot of vintage books. So I thought it would be fun to just go ahead and purchase like one of these combo packs because um, you get such a nice variety. Look at that floral. And so there's all different fonts and, um, you know, different imagery and stuff that is just 
just so usable in stuff like that, you know, art journals, junk journals. Um, yeah, I, and I, you know, I'm a total book lover and I read a ton. I mean, I read 95 books last year in 2021. So just an idea of like, you know, there are certainly people who read more than that, but I do am reading constantly. So another transparency. And then this one looks like the more space themed one. Interesting. Really cool. These would go so great with that Stamperia Cosmos paper pad that I got that I showed you guys in that last haul. So just flipping through quickly because I don't know how interested you guys are in this stuff, but you seem to enjoy it in the last video, me going through everything. Um, and I always like to know because if I am going to spend my hard earned money on stuff, I really like to know exactly what I'm getting. So um, I don't know, maybe some of you are like that too and you would just like to see everything that is included. So I'm happy to share that with you. So this one has another transparency. That, that is really neat. I can't wait to see how I can use that. One, that. Ooh, these ones are like letters, handwritten. Ooh, I like that. That's going to be a lot of fun to use. Oh, I'm excited. So many different um, handwritten fonts. Wow. That's so cool. This one has like postcard on the side and some stamps. I'll have to try to read some of these later on um, and see if I can make out what they say. But I think that is so fun. My dearest mother. Okay, I'm not going to do it now because that would take up way too much time in the video. But yeah, very excited. All right. So if you guys also do like junk journaling or art journaling and you have like lots of ephemera like this, I would love to know how you store it because I am like rearranging my craft room now to make room for this new, you know, like it's not really this, some of the stuff is the same as card making, but a lot of it is different. So I have to make room to store everything. So I've been really purging a lot and donating things to friends and family who are also into art and um, making room in my space, but I haven't completely decided what's the best way to store things. So I'd love to hear your ideas. Another transparency there. Um, and then I am hoping, oh, that's cool. Like ledgers and receipts. Nice. Oh, I love that. Tea, breakfast, breakfast. Um, I am hoping to do a uh, updated craft room tour for you guys pretty soon. Um, pretty soon being sometime in the spring. And the reason why, because I did clean out my entire craft room the week between Christmas and New Year's, but um, I'm still, I like to live with a space and make sure it's really working for me before I, you know, share it with you guys. So I'm still not sure that the way that I'm storing these new products is how I want to continue storing them. So I'm trying to like, you know, live with it for a little bit, a month or two and see if it's working and if not then I want to change it up before I do that video so that I can uh, really tell you guys like how it's working for me so another transparency okay oh recipes nice anatomy interesting might be fun to try <laughs> to try to make like one of these recipes sometime. I, I bet they're like, I don't know. Are they, do you think they're actually like 
real recipes though or that somebody just maybe they are maybe they are real recipes I'll have to read through them and see if it kind of makes sense um, I do cook a lot and bake a lot so maybe I'd be able to tell if it's like an actual recipe or just a, you know something that's just thrown together Ooh, Alice in Wonderland neat it's the dodo all right so one more from this pack so oh that transparency has butterflies now we've got some music I'm really glad for that because I I wanted some music the last pack that I had um, was much smaller well maybe it was the size but the um, they were all like hymns and they were more like seemed like Catholic hymns because they were like something about the mother of God and I'm not Catholic so um, I thought it might be nice to have other things as well so that'll be fun to have those music notes definitely happy about that all different sizes and styles oops that's interesting it's got like a what is that? Is that a clarinet? I'm not really sure. I play the piano, or at least I used to. Um, I don't have one now, so I haven't played in a very long time. Okay, I'm gonna put these back in their packages and be right back. All right, so the next thing that I got on Amazon was another paper pad. This is another of the eight by eight inch pads. These do come from, um, did I say Stamperia? I always want to say Stamparia because I originally heard of this brand that way, but on their own YouTube stamp uh, YouTube channel they say Stamparia, so I am trying to get that in my head. But their papers come in eight by eight, um, six by six, eight by eight, and twelve by twelve, and then they also have some other sizes of like accessory things. So um, this one I got the 8x8 again. I do really like this size, even though I'm working in a 5.5x5.5 um, art journal. But I really, really, really love this one. It's called Atelier des Arts. I maybe butchered that. I'm sorry. I don't. I think that's French, and I don't <laughs> speak French, so um, yeah, I just thought this one was stunning, and I mainly wanted this one to possibly do the front of my art journal with. It's all about art, and, and uh, arts, I believe this means art studio, so look at how stunning that is. Oh my gosh, isn't that like your dream art studio? <laughs> It is mine. I mean, gosh, it's even got books, everything you need, flowers, paintings, stunning. All right, so that may eventually end up being the front of my art journal, although I would have to cut it down. So I may have to try to see if I can find the 6x6 six six pad in this one, but I think this one is an older um, collection. So, so far I haven't been lucky in finding the 6x6, six six. so I took what I could get because I do just think it's so gorgeous and I'm already ripping it apart. Really, really beautiful. I love all the texture, the brick showing through behind the wood. Just stunning. All of that kind of grungy, artsy beautifulness. <laughs> There's some butterflies and I think those are cherry blossoms even though they're white. I don't know. Maybe it's dogwood. I'm not sure. This stunning lady here. And then there's more of those butterflies and the branches. Pile of books which you know is going to be right up my alley. I love this as well. Like this cabinet here with the drawers. I think that's really cool stunning florals it just looks like a piece of artwork right there and then you've got a bunch of different words and things that you could cut apart if you wanted to and there's the back side of that with other little things you could cut apart there's some beautiful florals 
and those are the backs. You could use these as like art journaling cards if you are doing that kind of um, albums. The luggage, I think that's stunning. And then you've got all these frames. It's just beautiful. I mean, goodness, look at all of that. That one is also beautiful. That one could be the back of the art journal. Although I I would have to cut, you know, decide what part of it I want since my journal is so much smaller. Um, so I'd have to really kind of like pick and choose what parts of it I'm going to use. So anyway, if I can find it in the 6x6, six six, I will maybe get that instead and save this for something else. So beautiful with all the color swatches. I just think that's so stunning. Yeah, I, I couldn't pass this one up even though it wasn't um, the perfect size for what I wanted. That is gorgeous too. Look at all of that detail. All those little jars, the dice, tickets, chalk. There's just so much to look at, you know? Like you can just keep staring at it and see new things. I just think that's amazing. And that's gorgeous too. And then there on the back sheet, there's all those little cut aparts that you can use as accessories and stuff. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I just can't say enough good things about that one. And then um, the last thing I got on Amazon was a pack of gelatos. A lot of you had, had asked me if I have ever used gelatos, and I have not. Um, I got the woodies to use, which I'm very happy with and can't wait to play more with, um, the Stabilo woodies. But I wanted something that would be kind of comparable so that I could kind of test out and see how different they are and what I like for what. Um, but I didn't want to be like too similar. So I ended up going with the iridescent gelatos just so it adds something new to my collection. You know, I didn't want to just like have dupes of kind of the same sort of thing. So I thought the iridescence would be really fun and different. So. Um, again, I had a little bit of money left on a gift card from Christmas from my dad, so I went ahead and picked this up, and I'm really excited to play with these and try them out. Those are the colors that you get included in this set. I love tanzanite. That's one of my favorite gemstones, so that's going to be really pretty, and sapphire is my other favorite because that's my birthstone, although that's a, a light version of it but stunning group of colors very very much my style so I'm really excited to play with those so the rest of the stuff I actually got on Etsy and let's see I have the girl's business card right here that is the name of her shop decoupage a go go so I will link that down in the description bar below um, but I found another company, you guys, and it is another Italian company, and this one is called Ciao Bella, that's their logo right there, made in Italy, and this one is a 6x6 pad called Memories of a Snowy Day, and it has so many red squirrels in it guys oh my gosh I was so happy when I saw this paper pad and I have to say the packaging they put these in is really nice it's like a nice thick plastic it's not the kind that would tear super easy so that's really cool these ones do come loose and they these this company also comes in several different sizes I'm not sure if it's all the same sizes as um, Stamperia. I think it is though. I think they do have 6x6, 8x8, and 12x12. So anyway, let's get into this one. So um, a lot of this is kind of Christmassy, but a lot of it isn't. And um, I want to use this one for my February spread. Look at these red squirrels. I just love them so much. So there's two of each sheet and they're double-sided. Um, I want to use this one for my February spread 
Where I am, it is still extremely snowy in February. Right now I'm looking out at my window and there the snow is piled so high. It is the last week of January right now as I'm filming this. I'm pre-filming videos because I am going on vacation, but um, it is so snowy in February. So this totally suits where I am. There's the back of that one. Adorable red squirrel with the little bird and the swans in the distance and the castle. I just think it's stunning, stunning, stunning. Some streets. I don't know if it's supposed to be where it's supposed to be. Maybe Venice. Did I read that it was Venice or something? I'm not sure. Um, I could be totally wrong on that. Uh, but maybe. So, yeah, there's all these little streets and the canals. And then there's like a Boca snowy print on the back. Very cool. This one I adore. I mean, look at that, guys. It has the mailbox with happy mail in it. Those look like letters. Card maker, check. Favorite animal, red squirrels, check. I just I love this one so much. Just think it's stunning. So there's the back of that. I like that the there that one has like two different tones and then it's also got like stitching detail and some stamps there's stamps on the background of this one as well here so super fun with that male theme hint hint <laughs> you may just see that one in my February spread um, and then here is another gorgeous one with the swans and the bridge and the trees silhouetted against the winter sky just, and then on the back you've got that, um, it's like a Burberry print, very cool. There's some fun little cut aparts with the red squirrels again, building a snowman. How cute are they? And then little adorable squirrel footprints, so cute. And then there's like little berries and then all kinds of good stuff on the back of that one. There's a couple kissing under a street light. Very pretty. The back one is just that grungy. And then there's some little toys. There's even a toy little squirrels. Can you see those? Very cool. Um, there's a swan. So it's like little things that appeared in the pattern paper. A lot of them. Um, the boat. The houses but just um, carved out of wood, which is cool. And then I love that, all the snowy trees. Beautiful. And then there's the last page, and there's a bunch of little red squirrels on that one. All right, so I think I'm taking t maybe too long to go through all this stuff. This video is gonna be so long again, but whatever. Um, the next one that I got is another Chow Bella paper pad. This one is called The Gift of Love. And at first I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one, even though I thought the colors were really pretty and it has some fun animals in it as well. But um, she ended up having free shipping on $40 purchases. And all I needed was like one more paper pad to do it. And so I was like, that's a no brainer. If I'm going to pay the money, I might as well get a product for, for it, you know. So that one is really pretty and kind of warm toned with all those little warm drinks, the mulled wine. And then you've got that gorgeous aqua tile on the back. There's some cut aparts. That's really gorgeous on the back as well. Reminds me of like a, a winter sunset. Here's a girl with her dog. Grungy, sunsetty colors on the back. There's a horse and a dog. It's a little, um, uh, I can't even think what those are called, but stems. <laughs> uh, the back is like a cozy sweater knit. I love this. I think the beavers are just so neat. They're building their dam. And then there's the back of that one. The horse and the dog again. Very cute. I'm trying to go through this faster, guys, because I know this is getting long. All those mold cider and wine. There's the horse and the dog again. So it's fun that you get like 
different versions of them in case you're doing like a themed, you know, album or something. Just some snowy wood pile. And the back is grungy wood. That's beautiful. I love that. Some lanterns. And there's more of the apples and pine cones and cinnamon. And then there's a plaid. And then we've got a beaver print on the back of that one. So there's that one. And then next up is another Stamperia. This one is Lady Vagabond Lifestyle. And they've done um, a couple of these. I think this is the second Lady Vagabond. So it's very steampunk, um, which isn't necessarily my style, but you'll see why I got this one in a minute here. So you've got that beautiful lady with on the boat, um, which is kind of cool. We believe we have a pirate in our ancestry, so our family is really drawn to pirates and stuff like that. Um, just really, really cool. Looks like a submarine. And there she is again. There. <laughs> Look at that stunning bookshelf. I love that. And the pile of books. Beautiful. I definitely have to use that for something. I just think that's gorgeous. And then the whole pad is just really pretty. I love that. Like damask looking print. Phonograph. All those little gears and things. Stunning typewriter. I actually have a vintage typewriter. Um, that looks very much like that. It's a Remington, or is it an Underwood? No, I think mine's an. I think mine's a Remington um, that I got at a thrift shop last year, and I'm so happy about it. I actually have two uh, vintage typewriters, and I collect them. So I well, I only have two so far, but um, I love them. So I was really excited that that print was in there. I, I just think this whole pad is just so beautiful. Um, even the ones that aren't like my style, like the more steampunky ones, there's still plenty that is. Um, I also picked up two stencils from her shop. These are also from Chow Bella. This one here, do they have names? Roma, I think this one is called. So it just has these really cool like floral with the um, half circles around them and the the leaves in between. I just thought that would be really stunning. And then this is the other one here, these little flourishes. This one's called Flourish. So I thought those would be fun. I don't have a ton of stencils, especially that are more of like that art journaling style. So I thought those would be good to pick up. And then the last thing I got from her was two tissue peepers. These are also from Stamperia. Um, this one is called, I think that's the name of it, Carta di Riso? Nope, that's not the name of it. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what they're called, but this one has this beautiful blue and white floral and the butterfly that I just thought was really beautiful. And then this one is more Christmassy, so I'll probably save that one for a while. But I loved those little birds. I just thought they were so sweet. And I love the personality that they're showing. And then you've got like these gold diamonds in the back. Um, really, really gorgeous. So as I said, I will link her shop down in the description bar below. And um, also all of the stuff that I purchased on Amazon. And uh, I don't want to like... Put, you know pound you in the head with it but um, if you do purchase anything please do use my links it would mean so much to me um, last time several of you did use my links and I am so grateful and appreciative to you so um, yeah thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it really helps so much and um, your support means the world so Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing was. And hopefully I can use that really soon. I already know what I'm using for my February spread, which when you're watching this, it should be out pretty soon. I haven't filmed it yet, but like I said, I'm pre-filming. So 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I know what I'm doing for February, but I don't know what I'm doing for March yet. So let me know what you're excited about and we'll see what I can do. So thank you guys. Stay tuned for that art journaling video. You guys really seem to like the first one. So I hope you're going to like number two as well. I can't wait to do it. Like I've just been dying to get to it. So um, have an amazing day, guys. All right. Bye-bye.